I live in Paris and lately things have been a bit different. So as you can see, the city is rushing to get ready for the Olympics. And this last minute makeover is totally transforming the city. So let's go check out what's going on before I give you all my tips. Because if you're visiting Paris in the coming months, things are gonna be pretty different. So a few days ago, the Eiffel Tower got a whole new look for the Olympics. And usually I avoid the area around the Eiffel Tower as much as possible. But my friend Red was visiting from New York and he wanted to see it. So so we took our bikes and decided to cross the whole city to go to the Eiffel Tower and let me tell you a lot has changed in the past few months. Obviously I knew the Olympic Games was gonna be a big event but I didn't know how big it was gonna be. So this summer we're expecting 15 million people for the Olympics. There's also around 750 different events and also a very unique thing about the Paris Olympics is that a lot of events, especially the ones we got tickets for, are happening within the city. So it's really gonna impact both Parisians and people who are coming to visit this summer. For example, our first stop was Place de la Concorde. So usually it's this big square where there's a lot of cars and by the Olympics it's supposed to look like this. So there will apparently be a basketball court and a skate ramp, but today it looked like this. There was so much construction. We could see where the skate ramp was gonna be and we could see also all the seats. Okay, so after this our ride to the Eiffel Tower continued. We had to avoid the tons and tons and tons and tons of construction works and we ended up walking by this beautiful palace called Le Grand Palais, which just means the big palace. This is where the fencing will take place. So after a bit of biking we arrived on this bridge, which is called Pont Alexandre III, which is usually called one of the most romantic bridges of Paris. I've heard of people proposing on this bridge. But today obviously the atmosphere is a bit more chaotic because it is under construction as everything around this area. And maybe this is one of the most interesting stops we'll have on our route to the Eiffel Tower because this bridge is the finish line of the marathon swimming competition. You know, first of all, people are swimming marathons. I find that super impressive. So congrats to these people who are gonna do that. But also one of the biggest controversies right now about the Olympic games is whether people are gonna be able or not to swim in the river. So you see the river right below this bridge is called La Seine and crosses Paris from east to west. And this is where all the swimming competitions are supposed to take place. And this has been one of the biggest controversies around the Olympic games because swimming in the river has been forbidden since 1923 and right now it's just super polluted so it's not recommended to even attempt swimming in it and apparently it's not one of the first times people have wanted to make the river swimmable like people have wanted to swim in the Seine since a really really long time and it seems to have been a political promise for quite a while but for the Olympic Games they're trying to make that come true anyways a lot of effort is put into this plan because 1.4 billion euros have been allocated to this project to manage wastewater and curb the pollution. They even built a massive underground rainwater tank, but apparently it is not enough because as of today, you still can't swim in the river. This is due to the very, very heavy rains we've been having, which seriously have been so annoying. It rained almost all day during our bike trip, but the plan is still to swim in the river for the Olympic Games. So let's see what happens. Anyways, one thing that was really obvious during this little biking trip to the Eiffel Tower is how much the city has been transforming in terms of transportation. There's so many new bike lanes and it seems way easier to move around the city. They were also supposed to open a bunch of new metro lines and extend a few others and that didn't really happen. They only extended one metro line to the airport. And I think transportation is one of the main concerns both for visitors and for locals. If you're visiting, I have a few tips for you in the next section, but let's first see how it impacts locals. As you probably know, Parisians are not the most enthusiastic people about stuff in general. And I have to say that these ads telling you to stay at home and not take public transport in the metro have not really been helping. Like a lot of people are afraid that they will have to go to work and commute and take public transport during the games and have to spend hours and hours in public transport. So a lot of the people I know are actually taking vacations during the game or leaving or just not thinking too much about the games because they can work from home and will try to have a flexible schedule anyways. 
One of the things that was a bit difficult for locals and I was personally confronted to it when we were looking for an apartment earlier this year was how hard it was to find an apartment that will not kick you out for the Olympic Games. A lot of the Paris landlords wanted to get their apartment back for the Olympic Games to put it on Airbnb and make more money obviously. When we were looking for an apartment it was actually really annoying because every time we were finding a nice place they were by the way you'll have to live in June because we're taking the apartment back for the Olympic Games. So we had to start kind of all of our messages with we are planning to stay longer than June. Do you have a place for us? And that's how we found our place. So this is something that has also been a bit frustrating for locals not being able to find affordable housing because of the games. So around me I have a few friends who are excited but I mostly got excited because of my American boyfriend Bobby who re-encouraged us to see that this is a once in a lifetime event and that we should actually take advantage of it. Like it's not every day that the Olympic Games are coming to your city and it's probably something we'll tell our grandkids about when we're older. So we decided to stay in town and make the most of our time in Paris this summer. And I'll show you exactly which Olympic tickets we got. But one other thing we've been doing recently is rediscovering the city thanks to the Kluge Paris Pass. Kluge is a longtime partner of the channel and they have a pass that lets you book Paris activities at a discounted rate. So, so far we've been to see the water lilies of Monet at the Orangerie Museum, which was absolutely wonderful. We've also been to Disneyland Paris and next week we have a champagne cruise booked, so I'm pretty excited for that. They also have activities all around the world and at the moment they are running a midsummer sale with up to 40% off on some activities and buy two get one free deals. You can also use my promo code LucilleYTKLUKE for an additional 10% off. So go ahead and book your Paris activities using Kluke and let me tell you about our plans for the Olympics. So we got tickets and it was actually pretty easy to get them. We didn't pay more than 50 euros for any ticket. Granted, we're pretty flexible on the times because we're flexible with our schedule, but we got tickets to what I think are events in the coolest stadiums I've ever seen in my life. And they're all around the Eiffel Tower. So the first one is archery and it's at Les Invalides, which is right at the end of the bridge we were on before. And it's supposed to look like this, which really looks pretty cool. Then we're seeing judo right by the Eiffel Tower. And then we are seeing beach volley at the Eiffel Tower. It's supposed to look like that. This looks super, super, super cool. And I'm so excited to be there in July. But anyways, let me show you how it looks right now. So we were super happy to arrive at the Eiffel Tower after 25 minutes of biking. And the tower looked so beautiful with the Olympic rings. And as you can see, we had a lot of fun there. And when we arrived at the feet of the Eiffel Tower, we could see it in the distance, the actual beach volley stadium where we're gonna go this summer. Anyways, this looks pretty fun, but the Olympic Games are only three events for me this summer. And I also wanna live my life and enjoy it around this time. So these are my tips if you're coming to Paris this summer. This is what I'm personally gonna do, but obviously things change all the time. So my first tip is to obviously look at the news. And the main thing you should look at is the security restrictions around the events. These change day by day, depending on the events taking place on a given day. And they can really be pretty different from one day to the next, depending on whether, for example, the marathon is taking place and closing half of Paris, or if you have more localized games. So what I recommend you do is that you look at this interactive map from Le Monde, which is the main French newspaper, and try to see what's happening when you're there. In any case, if you can, try to stay outside the blocked areas. Like, for example, where I live around the Batignolles area, there's not gonna be any restrictions, only good vibes, because there's gonna be a fan zone in the big park near my house. So I don't expect the Olympic Games to change too much how I live my daily life. In any case, if you're coming to Paris this summer, you need to accept that things are gonna take longer. So don't be in a rush, take it chill, allow for plenty of time to do things and you'll be fine. One thing you should be aware of is metro tickets are gonna be more expensive. Currently a metro ticket is around two euros, 15 cents, and they're gonna be sold for almost double four euros during the games. So one thing I recommend you do is that you buy your tickets in advance. You can do that on the app from the Paris Metro called Bonjour RATP. Another thing you should do is check out tickets and resales for the games. There's still so many tickets available and who knows, maybe you'll snag a good deal. I'll also be personally checking the official resale app because you can only sell the ticket at the price you bought it. So there will be a few good deals over there too. And also, as you've seen with my little biking adventure, things are going to be a bit crazy in the touristy areas of Paris this summer. So you might want to go and enjoy the local side of Paris instead. And if you want to do that, you should click on one of these videos next. I'll see you there.